Hey everyone, welcome to a brand new episode of the show. Today I am back with a purchase that I made during Free Comic Book Day. Yes, of course, I picked up the Transformers Energon Universe Free Comic Book Day comic. And while I was at the store, I picked up this awesome Page Punchers, Bumblebee, and Wheeljack set. Now this is from McFarlane Toys. Yes, I know, scratch your head, McFarlane Toys, but they are making Transformers action figures. What's cool about this set is these are fairly small figures, but they do come with two Transformers comics. So let's take a look at the packaging. Of course, you can see this comes in a plastic sealed case. I hate these things. I'm gonna have to cut it out with box cutters, but you get Bumblebee and Wheeljack, and of course you get two Transformers comics. Can't really see. I think this might be the Transformers Bumblebee Spotlight from IDW. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out in just a second. The back of the package also gives you a look at the UPC. There is a Megatron and Optimus set. I don't know if this is kind of alluding to those two figures that you can buy but these are the only two sets that are available upon this initial release hopefully there's more but let's dive into this pack and see what the figures are like before we say hey give me a series three okay so here is what you get in the package uh you do get two comics and uh, yeah i was i don't know if this is bumblebee spotlight there may have been like a bumblebee mini series that i just don't remember but you get Issue number one of this. I don't know if it's a reprint or not. And you get issue seven of Robots in Disguise, which is it's a pretty good comic. If you if you've never read the IDW Robots in Disguise and the uh, More Than Meets the Eye stuff, go check it out. It is it's absolutely fantastic stuff. Even if you're not a fan of the Transformers and you're just a fan of comics, those two series are great. So along with the two figures, you do get this base. And let's pull the figures back a little and let's work on the base. So you can see here the bottom of the base has four pegs right here. Uh, if I'm looking at this, this, you know, the peg, well, these are the pegs. These have raised holes on them, I guess is what you want to call it. And then this slides in the back somehow. We'll, we'll put this together first. Just slide those down. It goes on fairly easy. Uh, okay, so I'm looking at this and yes, it looks like these are slots right here that kind of fit into the back of this. So basically just slot it in there. And this is supposed to be a stand for the comic. Now, I don't know how many people want to just stand the comic like this because not it won't take very long and the comic will bend to, to all kind of pieces. So taking a look at these two guys, Bumblebee up first because his name starts with B and we like to do it alpha biblically. Uh, let's see if his head rotates. The head does rotate all the way around. He's a T90 fella. Very, very small. Arms rotate all the way around. They do have some mobility to go up and down that way but that's that's about the the extent of arm mobility you can turn at the waist all the way around legs can kick up about that high and go back even better than they go forward and they will spread just a little bit as you can see right here i don't know what size figure this is probably three inch maybe three inch figure let me see do i have anything i can compare it to just laying around anywhere sure here's a lego figure you can see right here, here's here's a Lego minifigure compared to Bumblebee. Now the, the hands do have, they're shaped in like, like this. So it looks like maybe at one time they thought about maybe trying to put a weapon in the pack and decided not to, because typically, you know, that might be a fist or something. But I even noticed on Wheeljack that the hands are cupped. Maybe we'll get a weapon one day in, in these packs. Who knows? Still, just a good representation of Bumblebee. I like this figure. I'm digging him. I know a lot of hardcore Transformers fans will be like, oh, no, he doesn't transform, man. I don't like him. But he's still, he's actually a pretty decent uh, action figure much better than I would say something like Super 7's reaction line which they cost almost 20 bucks now and for $17 you get two of these and two comics Woo! you can't beat that all right so Will Jack looks pretty good I wish there was more blue on the eyes or, or, or they popped a little bit more maybe the little side pieces his what I ears quotes on the side there when he talks in the G1 cartoon you know they they light up it'd be kind of cool to see that maybe like a, a, a light blue or something but we really need your help 
Let's check out his articulation. Head can rotate probably all the way around. I wouldn't push it too much because you have his guns back here that that I wouldn't want to try to damage because of the ear flap thingies on his head. Probably won't let him go around all the way. Arms can rotate well. He's got the little wing things back here again, preventing him from rotating those arms all the way around. Side to side, that's about it yet. Bumblebee has a lot better articulation than Wheeljack, but of course Bumblebee isn't as, is kind of big up top as Wheeljack. Uh, Wheeljack's legs can spread. Actually, it eh, might be a hair better than Bumblebee's. He can split a little better than Bumblebee too. That's that's pretty nice. The legs, since they're on ball joints, they turn too. Overall, again, I'm not like super mad that I bought this. I'm, I'm actually happy with this purchase. Uh, this is a great way to get kids into Transformers. Gives them a little, you know, a little couple of little figures to play with in one pack. Gives them two comics to try to get into not only reading, but I mean, reading Transformers, understanding the lore behind it. So I'm all in on this. I hope these are successful. I hope McFarlane Toys can make even more of these. Like I said, there is a an Optimus Prime and Megatron 2-pack out there. I should have picked it up today. I don't know why I didn't. I should have picked it up because these are awesome. I'm glad I bought these. I'm, I'm going back. I'm going to get Megatron and Optimus and we'll look at those too. But uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited about where this can go. I'm hoping for big things with this line. Now, will I get it? I don't know. Overall, they're cool. Now, what I want you to do is leave a comment below. Let me know if you purchased either this set or the Optimus and Megatron. What you think about it from a Transformers fan's perspective? Do you like it? Do you hate it? Are you just sort of mid about it? Or, and from just a regular toy fan's perspective, what do you think of this? Again, I think it's a great way to get kids into reading comics and playing with action figures because they're, they're going to buy it for the action figures, but they get the two comics in there. This just perfect. It's perfect. It's a perfect gateway drug to to comic books and to Transformers. All right, folks, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching. And uh, as always, God bless. Mm -hmm.